How's it going guys? I am back with another rebuilding video and this one we're going to be rebuilding the Orlando Magic. But of course, before I start any of these videos, I got to preference it by saying my one objective is to win the championship as fast as possible. So guys that I would normally love to have on my team, Victor Lodipo, Aaron Gordon, um, Alfred Payton, these guys that have a lot of potential, I'm going to be trading away because I need guys that can provide right now, man. I'm trying to win a championship either this year or next year. So my first thing on my agenda was to try to trade for a superstar or an all star and it was not going well man i tried to package in nikola vucevic and victor ladipo and a couple first round picks i tried pretty much everybody you can think of and then i came to the realization that one guy that i know i could probably get is kyrie irvin because he's not considered an untouchable for that team man of course lebron is their key piece so i was like you know what i, I gotta throw everything out at them i tried my best man i tried to throw in like four first round picks they were not budging so i left it came back in a couple minutes and then i threw in one more draft pick and boom there it was man they accepted the trade so we pick up kyrie irvin so I tried to trade Brandon um, Brandon Jennings and Ersan Ilyasova. These guys are on a one-year deal. And I saw this trade for Chris Middleton. I was like, you know we got to do that because Chris Middleton can give you 15 points a game and play some solid defense. And I was like, you know what? Let's get to the all-star break, man. I wasn't expecting the team to make the playoffs. And then we get this trade offer. After the very first game of the season, they're like, Aaron Gordon for Kristaps Porzingis. I was like, that's a no-brainer. And we get Kyle Quinn because we had Jason Smith starting at center since we traded Nikola Vucevic. Kyle Quinn is an okay center, and he's better than Jason Smith. So I was like, I don't know why they offered me this trade, but I was okay with it. I let it go through, and now we have Kyrie Irving and Kristaps Porzingis leading this team. And then we still have Chris Middleton and Evan Fournier. So I was like, you know what? This team is actually pretty solid. Of course, I wasn't expecting to win a championship this first year because we still missing some key pieces. But I did think that we had the, 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 the pieces to actually get into the playoffs. So at the All-Star break, we're sitting at 50% which is solid we're still in the playoff picture we don't have our first round pick so we don't have to worry about tanking and i was like we need one more piece so i trade alfred payton for kimball walker man so kimball walker is going to be coming off our bench um for this one year next year he's actually going to be our starter but this first year he's coming off our bench which is solid man kimba is amazing i've traded for him in pretty much every rebuilding video that i've done because he's just a solid point guard and him coming off the bench is going to be decent actually i put him in a start lineup of over ever Fournier. so he's our starting shooting guard and we're going to go to the end of the season and the season awards come in kevin durant wins most valuable player like he usually does then our guy wins rookie of the year Poor Zinga. There we go. Then six men of the year goes to Joe Kim Noah. Defense player of the year goes to DeAndre Jordan. And CJ wins most improved. So you guys are probably wondering what our record is, man. Are we going to be in the playoffs this first year? And you're going to see it in the second. Did we make the playoffs? Of course, like I said, we're not expecting to win the championship. But we definitely did get in that um, in that playoffs with a record of 41 and 41. Luckily, we're in the Eastern Conference. And the East is pretty trash. And here we go, man. Our first series in the playoffs. And we beat... The Boston Celtics and that's a good sign man of course we still have some pieces missing from this team we get into the second round we're going to Detroit Pistons and it's going down to the wire man right down to game seven and we are going to lose which is okay man like I said I was not expecting to win the championship this first year honestly I wasn't even sure if we're gonna make the playoffs but we got into the second round and we get, took it to game seven. So we got some good signs, man. That's good signs. So we get into free agency. Like I said, we didn't have a first round pick. We traded it when we got Kyrie Irving. But this is my, like, I'm showing you guys because I've said in the last video, I suck at signing players in free agency. And this is, ex I'm showing you guys right here. I'm trying to get pretty much anybody. I didn't have enough money to try to get LeBron, but there are still some solid guys on the market. Um, DeMar DeRozan was there, then you got Andre Drummond, who's a restricted free agent, you got Dwayne Wade, and you got D12 there, so I'm pretty much offering all of these guys max money, because we need a star, we need another star on this team to go along with Kyrie Irving, and you see, man, after the first day, we, there's really nothing much left, I definitely didn't want to go get Rondo, we didn't really need another point guard, considering we had Kyrie Irving and Kemba Walker, but I, I didn't want to go get Dirk, he's a little too old, but D12 was there, he accepted the offer, so we're bringing D12 back to Orlando, man, maybe that's the wrong move, man, but we're gonna give it a try, so after that, we made no more 
signings. We didn't sign anyone else of importance. We signed a couple roster fillers. And I'm trying to package Mario Hazonia in a first round pick for another guy. Because Mario Hazonia, I think he's going to be special in the NBA. I'm not saying like MVP or All-Star. But he's going to be a solid player. But we need somebody that can help us right now. And that's exactly what we got in Nicholas Batum, man. So we're getting into this second season. You see the rotation. I'm pretty confident about this team. At first, I wanted to trade um, Dwight Howard for another center. But I, I let it ride, man. I let it ride. And you guys can see all the games that we win and we lose. For some reason, my rebuilding videos are really short in comparison to other people's. Um, I don't know why. I feel like I just get it done fast, man. It only took us two years to get back into the Well, one year to get into the playoffs. And the second year, we were like the number one seed, which is crazy. Um, I was really confident in this team, so I didn't make any more trades, I don't think, for this entire season. And you can see, man, we're doing pretty well. We're 26-9 and nine at this point. We just lost that game against the Clippers. But we are first in the Eastern Conference, man. That's just crazy that we did this in just one year. Kyrie Irving is doing really, really good. And then you got D12. I know they left. He left here on bad terms, you know. But I think the fans welcomed him back with warm arms. You see the fan interest is really high, man. So... I was really confident about this team, man. Of course, that's not always the way it works. You'll get into the playoffs and other things happen. You know, somebody gets injured or something. But hopefully that doesn't happen to us. So at the halfway point, you see us, man. We're doing really well. Leading the Eastern Conference with that record. I didn't make any more trades. Usually at that point, I try to make one more trade that solidified my team was great. But I was like, I think we did it, man. I think we can do this in one year. So we're just going to simulate to the end of the season. And we pick up where we left off, man. Not a lot of losses in the second half of the season, which is great for us because we keep that number one seed going into the playoffs. Now, the number one seed doesn't mean everything, but we'll have our home court advantage throughout the playoffs, which is great. So MVP goes to Chef Steph, of course. Ben Simmons wins rookie of the year. He got drafted to Philly with that first overall pick. Then you got Brandon Knight, DeAndre Jordan, and Stanley Johnson all winning awards. And Monty Williams is now the coach of the OKC Thunder. Just crazy how they got rid of Billy Donovan in just one year. But here we go, man. Making the rotation changes. When I get into the playoffs, I usually shorten my rotation to have my starting guys play as many minutes as possible because you want your starters out there. Of course, they're going to get tired, but it's going to be worth it if you can win these games. So the first round is against the Miami Heat, and they have a negative record. I'm, I'm pretty confident that we can go out there and beat them in four games. That's exactly what we do. So we get into the second round of going against the Cleveland Cavaliers. They No, I don't think they even have LeBron anymore. They just have Kevin Love, and we took Kyrie Irving from him. So that was a pretty easy win. And then we go against the Boston Celtics, the team we beat in the first round last year. They made it all the way to the Eastern Conference, and we're battling it out. And it looks like we're actually going to go to the championship game against the Sacramento or against the San Antonio Spurs. I almost said Sacramento Kings. They're never going to get there. But here we go, man. It's going down, man. 3-1. And then we end up winning the championship just that quick, man. In two years, we brought this Orlando Magic team to the promised land. They're raising the trophy, raising the banner in their arena. And it was just that easy, man. MVP goes to Kyrie Irving. If you did enjoy the video, as always, be sure to leave it a like. It's king of the fourth quarter. Thanks so much for watching.